you're probably all, just looking at you, probably too young to remember this, but uh, I used to go get information this way. And so I went to a library, and just to remind you, in case you were old enough, there was a big wooden box, and you slid out a drawer, and you pulled out an index card, and it had a number on it, like 189.31, and you found the one book, right, under the right area, that you would open up and you'd actually have to read it. You'd have to read the whole book to get the information. Right? That's how we used to get information. Now, does anybody remember what that system was called? OK, it's an older audience than I thought. It's, a, <laughs> it's the first time ever that we have a young generation that's coming up right, that has lived their entire lives uh, with a relationship with devices right, that give them instant access to knowledge and information. And I don't think we recognize how much this will change things. There is a word now called humology. Humology is a blending of humans and technology. And that for the rest of our careers, right, or the rest of our lives, there will be this progression of blending humans and technology to get things done. Now, whether that get things done is a sales cycle, or whether that get things done is a transaction, or finding a prospect, or building a car, Right? We are now bl always blending humans and technology to get something done. And finding the proper way to blend it is called humology. Now, I've been fascinated by, in the last decade, how things that were done by humans have now been starting to be done by software, or starting to be done by machines. Now, just in March, I saw the latest one I thought was kind of interesting, which was a video that shows the world's number one ping pong player playing a robot. So just out of curiosity, okay, uh, everybody stand up. Just this is an easy way to do it. Stand up. Just stand up real quick. Everybody who thinks that the machine won, I want you to sit down. If you think the machine won, sit down. If you think the man won, stay standing. Okay, everybody who's standing, you're right. Everybody who sat down, the machine lost. Now, hey, I don't get too excited, right? The machine was up like six nothing, and then the man started to figure out, right, what the machine's limits were, and he narrowly won. And I figured that'll only last until they reprogram the robot next year, right? And then the robot's gonna win. Right? But it's just an example, I mean, we live in a world now where continually technology can do things that humans can do. And I know there's a lot of people who are like, ah, you know, machines can't ever replace human beings. Hey, I agree. Machines can't ever replace some of the things human beings do. But technology, software and hardware, is going to be able to replace a lot of the things we do or augment what we do. And that's the whole basis for humology. Now, this is causing a digital transformation. All right? and, and I just want to, I want to say that is the process of how do we use technology to improve the way we've already done things. And then how do we use technology to create completely new ways of doing things? We actually live in a very cool time where you have all kinds of new technology you can apply. But only if you're willing, only if you have the courage, only if you're willing to take the risks, only if you're willing to change, right? But I love that concept of you got a whole eternity you know, inside the box. I mean, now is your chance to do magic things. Now is your chance. You know, 20, 30 years ago, we didn't have so many of these cool tools. We didn't have mobile devices. We didn't have the internet. And we have things today that could do magic things in the right hands.